Hello and welcome to this clarification video on this vector r hat. In physics, a great many things, uh, as you have realized, are vectors. Um, and once they are vectors, we start to really have to be careful about defining their directions. And r hat is just a very nice, convenient um, representation of one of the most common directions that we actually care about in problems. So regardless of whether you're talking about a force or a field or something, you're always kind of thinking about what is the effect of one object on another object or on another point in space. So if we are talking gravity, then we're usually maybe thinking about the, the gravitational force of the Earth acting on some poor person who is lost in space out there. So if we're talking about that force from the Earth, acting on the person, then we've got a problem where we're kind of thinking about a source and a point of interest. And that's the same as if I was talking about, say, the electric field due to some positive charge, maybe, at some point A, like many questions we've talked about. So if we're looking again, then that's a source. The positive charge is a source of the electric field. And we've got a point of interest, this arbitrary point A. R hat in all of these scenarios is always from the source to the point of interest. Or at least, rather, the R vector is always this vector that connects from the source to the point of interest. And R hat is just the direction of that vector. So this thing has a length of however far the person is from the Earth. This thing has a length of however far point A is from the positive charge here. But if all we care about is the direction, then we want to take something that just has a length of 1, but is pointing in the same direction. So that is my r hat. Now, technically, because it has a length of 1, r hat is actually equal to the vector r, which has both magnitude and direction, just divided by the magnitude of r. This definition is correct, but not very useful. Conceptually, the important thing to remember is it's just from the source to the point of interest.